How to support someone going through a crisis. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Brianne. I don't give advice, suggestions, information, recommendations. I do share with you my perspective on different topics. I hope you like, share, subscribe. All channel names, all five, are pinned to the top of the comment section or description box below. You know, when someone's going through a crisis, it's very, very important to be a good listener, in my opinion, to listen, to gather the facts, um, to not jump to conclusions, to be supportive. And sometimes we don't have answers, and a lot of times people want to have answers and so they'll make up an answer or give a wrong answer just to have an answer to feel like they're doing something or helping someone. A wrong answer is not going to help someone. A right answer will. If we don't have the right answer and we don't know where the right resource is, at least we can be comforting. We can just listen. Sometimes giving advice is not always what a person wants to hear. Some people don't want advice. All they want is comfort. Other people want advice, you know. And um, and if, if one's going to give advice, one needs to make sure that that advice is accurate and good and that that person's receptive to it and that they want it. Um, so sometimes it's just that we need to be um, a person who is um, uh, a, a comfort person. Sometimes that's all someone needs is someone who's going to comfort them. Um, if we know, if we don't have the answers, maybe we might know of someone who might, maybe we can give some suggestions, but we have to be very careful when people are going through a crisis because some people are very touchy and very sensitive during a crisis time, which is very, very understanding. Maybe they've already tried what you've suggested. Um, and it's always wise to say, may I uh, share with you my perspective or my opinion, not just load it down on them because sometimes that's not the right thing to do. Going through a crisis can be a very emotional, very challenging, very difficult time. So we need to also respect what someone's going through emotionally and their emotions may be at an all-time high or an all-time low or all-time anything. So we need to always keep that in mind. Okay, from my house to yours, may Heavenly Father bless you. I hope you like, share, subscribe, and I hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye.